Like other sectors, the cross-border transport sector was affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Currently, there are traders in particular who are engaged in the transportation and shipping who say that they have a problem with the cost of renting and getting the containers that transport goods from China, Europe, Africa, and to ports such as Dar es Salaam and Mombasa, where Rwanda picks imported products. They say that for a container to be transported from those parts of Africa and returns back carrying nothing brings about loss to the owners, which is why they hike prices. It is a problem that shippers also believe is affecting the rise of commodity prices in the country. These days, there is shortage of containers on the international market, especially from China and other areas. This is because of the coronavirus, which affected the export sector, making containers fewer on the market. So we would like to pack people's goods from China to Rwanda. Containers are missing, and even those who own them increase prices. It is a big loss to shippers, traders, and runners in general. From October onwards, the biggest problem we have is the price of containers, which has gone up abnormally. In fact, when the price is high in transport, it affects the end customer. The capacity of buyers in our country has been low. And then the coronavirus is another big problem. In addition to the problem of expensive container prices, which is very problematic for people, and we asked the government to look at how it can make it easier for citizens. The Minister of Trade and Industry, Soraya Hakuziremie, says they were aware of the shortage and cost of containers and held talks with various countries concerned to make it easier for importers as well as easing customs when containers arrive in Rwanda. As for the rise in prices of containers or for transportation in general, the first thing we did was to negotiate with the port-sharing countries to facilitate our traders by giving them more time to transport their goods to Rwanda. Tanzania and Kenya have agreed to this. The second thing is the ongoing dialogue with Transport Union so that we can address all challenges they face. With the COVID-19 and the lockdown, the transportation sector, especially the exporters, had not had much of an impact as borders were gradually opened. But it was in May and June that obstacles began to emerge due to delays in the process due to existing measures to prevent the COVID-19 pandemic. Minister Soraya added that exporters are also open to receiving funds from the COVID-19 recovery funds established. We gave them access to the recovery fund, considering those who were mostly affected. Since some companies were mostly affected after the lockdown, we will continue helping them, like other sectors, to fight the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Container transporters estimate that the cost of a container from China to Kigali has now reached 12,000 US dollars, about 11 million Rwandan francs, while before COVID-19 it was 7,500 US dollars, about 7 million 350,000 Rwandan francs. This means that a 5,000 US dollar cost was added to the price of one container.